When soldering, when you smell something burning, check and make sure it's not you. Hey folks, welcome back. I'm gonna work on the trailer a little bit more. Uh, I got a few more things to do on the floor before I start uh, insulating shelves and stuff like that. So if you remember when I put the floor down, I had to level all this out to cover up the space where the drivetrain used to be running down the middle. Underneath there's where the transmission transfer case, all that stuff would have been. So I got the floor leveled out, but there's a lot of empty space here and over there and back here and i want to use that space to <laughs> for storage so this isn't very big so we got to use all the available space we have so i'm going to cut some hatches in the floor that we can pull up later and then store things under there and whatever else we want to use it for
back working on the camper today. Got a got a few things in. Excited about this stuff. Um, we've got some power outlets that I'll be putting in. And these come with two outlets as well, face plate and uh, just a standard 12 volt outlet there and a dual USB. I've got I've got two of these. And we'll get those installed in a couple places where it'll be handy for us to charge whatever devices and things that we need while we're out on the road. So I've got two of those to put in. I've got some little LED lights here. Uh, these are just some little LED puck lights that I'll be putting in the ceiling in various places so that we'll have some light. These are pretty cheap. We'll see how they work. Um, they, they should be good enough. I got eight of those, so they'll kind of be scattered out in the in various places in the ceiling and stuff, so we'll have lighting when we're out, out camping. I've also got this cable here. This is a seven conductor. This is specifically for the um, for the trailer hitch stuff. So I'm gonna wire this into the hitch and run it back here to wire up the existing suburban lights. I've got it, I've got it kind of jerry-rigged right now temporarily with some wire, but this will let me fix it up a little bit better. And I'm also gonna wire in the existing hitch here. So if I need anything off that, I'll be able to power things or I can even pull a second trailer if I want, so. And next, we got in our Coleman stove. So this is actually the Coleman Triton model. I don't know that it's any better, but we'll see. It looked like it might be a little bit easier to clean and had a few features that looked a little bit nicer than the standard one. So that's what we got. We'll see how it works. I'll probably do a review on it later and, and let you know. And over here, I'm really excited about this one. This is the Dometic Fantastic Fan. Here she is. So this is going to go in the roof. This is the fan, it's got multiple speeds on it, and it also goes either direction, so I can blow air in or suck air out, depending on, on what we wanna do with it. They've got several different models. Um, this one is the one that has the two directions on the fan. It's the manual crank for the, for the lid that opens, and it's got multiple speeds. They've got some that are a lot fancier, but this was, this was sufficient for everything I needed. So we'll be getting that cut in the roof and put in place in the near future, I hope. Probably not today because it's supposed to rain later. That's the main part. Some screws, a little bit of wire. is the inner inner shroud piece is going to be interesting. I may have to may have to do a little work on some of this to make it fit in my application, but we'll make it work. It's going to be very handy to be able to circulate air in the camper uh, just to get airflow and things. Right. Here we have instructions. Don't need those. Might use them later to start a fire though. So after this, I'm now gonna work today on getting the wire roughed in for the lights, the power outlets, um, the kitchen area, uh, the fan. I gotta get all that put into the floor and the walls before I can insulate it. So that's what I'm gonna be working on today is just getting some of the wiring done. So time to get to work. What is it? But it is. I didn't have it. Oh, I see the second. Oh, let's see which way is 
this hinge. Okay, so. I want the hinge to the front. Don't pull on it. So it's going to mount like this. The wiring's going to come down. So I need to get that wire right in here somewhere. I'll just tuck it up in right there for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. this mess here this was my temporary wiring just to get the thing street legal so I had all the lights and everything but I got to disconnect this and put in my new seven conductor wire pull it to the back and get that hooked up and it'll be a little bit better than this I'm gonna get all my joints soldered and everything so see if I can get it in there shrink tubing, a couple different sizes, and we'll see if we can get all these somewhat properly soldered.
getting some of the wiring done. I got um, I got the hitch done last night. Here it is. That one's all done. Up, I got the first part of the hitch, and I've also got just finished this one up. This is actually wiring up the third brake light on on the the back of the trailer so i've got to get the rest of that seven connector wired into the lights on the back and the hitch connector on the back and I'm about to start working on that and see if i can get that done today all right here's what it looks like underneath here so here's our hitch wiring comes up here I've already got it cut off here so I got to splice in those wires and undo all this temporary stuff and these wires over here are for that side and then these run over to the other side so I've got to get all this put together somewhat properly and then this one is one I ran down for that third light since that wiring harness all got removed and I also need to tap in these here. Those will be for the license plate. So I'll just tie those into the the running lights. So those will kick on whenever I have running lights on. So see what we can do. So I'm doing a temporary wiring based on how I think these should go because the Suburban has an extra green in it and no white. I'm not really sure why. So I'm gonna wire all these up and then hook a trailer up and see if everything works right. And then I'll know if I'm looking at this right. And then I'll wire up, then I'll solder it, then make it permanent. Although it took a while, I did eventually get all this wiring to work. Turns out I had a short on one of my wires and I had to go back and find and fix that. Uh, blew a few fuses in that process, but that's just all part of trying to wire up, do vehicle wiring. It's kind of a pain sometimes. But I got it all working and that pretty well wraps up the wiring that I have to do for now until I actually start tying up devices. So thanks for watching and here's one little tip for the day. Oh, and by the way, if you don't pay attention to where you put down your soldering iron, you might do this to your pants. So when soldering, when you smell something burning, check and make sure it's not you.